Hey, welcome to Flutter Canvas Tutorials. This is a series where I create a simple interaction or an effect with Flutter Canvas. If you'd like to see something specific done, please leave a comment and I will try to make the ones requested. In this video, I'm going to create an animated radial text widget from scratch, something like what you see here. There are a few things you can learn from this video, such as how to draw text on a curve, how to draw text at an angle, how to set a radial gradient background. So here we are in the main dot file where we have a stateless widget as the app. You can create a standard app with flutter create command. Thing to note here is that we set the home property to our widget which is called text arc widget. We created the text arc widget in a separate file. It is a stateful widget and let us examine the build method. Just as before, we have attached a custom paint as the child to the container. And inside the custom paint object, as usual, we have my paint object with two parameters we will get to later. My painter is the custom painter class where we will draw everything onto the canvas. Let's have a look at the paint method. First thing to do is to draw the background. Let's look at the draw background function. This is where we create a radial object and use it with the paint object. Radial gradient has a few parameters. First is the center parameter. This defines the start of the radial, which is specified as a, as a ratio. Zero, zero is the center of the rectangle that we specify here. It marks the area of the radial background. So here we want to set the center of the radials near the bottom left of the frame. And here I have computed the ratios with, uh, with respect to the rect and set it inside an alignment object. Radius parameter is again a ratio, but specifically it is the radius of the gradient as a fraction of the shortest side of the paint box or the rectangle here. And then we specify the colors we want the gradient to have. Uh, this corresponds with the stops array. These two arrays should have the same length. What these two properties set is what the colors the gradient should take along the radius. So for example, here I have said that at radius zero, color should be the first one. And at radius one, it should be the second one and the gradient object smoothly interpolates the in-between colors. And the rest of these statements are to create the rectangle that defines the paint box for the background in actual coordinates. The paint object creates a shader with the gradient and the rectangle. And finally, we draw that rectangle to the canvas. Now let's take a look at the slanted text. So this is how we draw text at an angle. Here I have set the starting angle which is passed in and that's how we animate this. I will get to that bit shortly. I will pass in a list of words to draw and call draw text slant function on all of them iteratively. Now let's look at the draw text slant function. We pass in an offset called arc center and this is set to the bottom left of the frame and radius parameter tells us how far from the center to start drawing text from. W parameter is the angle at which the text should be slanted. Zero means it is horizontal and positive angles increase clockwise. First, we set the position with an offset object. We set the start position at the radius distance on the X axis. And if we look at the paint function here, we drew the text on the canvas at the position plus a small adjustment on the Y axis. We get a text painter object from measure text function. So let's take a look at it now. 
This is a standard function where we create a span, set the text we want to draw along with the styles and then cause the layout function to compute area. Note here we let the layout function take the full width that the text requires. So this means that the text won't be wrapped. It would be drawn as a long line of text as required by the given string of characters. So once that is done, text painter object knows how to draw the text given to it. We will reuse measure text function for arc text drawing later. And back in the draw text slant function, let's take a look at how we create the illusion of angles. As I described earlier, without any transforms, this code draws a line of text horizontally starting from the pos position. With the canvas translate function, we move the center of the coordinates to the center of the arc, which is the bottom left of the frame. And then we rotate the canvas by a W angle. Now, when we call the paint function, canvas is translated and rotated around the bottom left corner of the frame. The save and restore functions put the transformation system to the same state as before, so that we can reuse this function. Here in the loop, we draw each item and increase the angle by 10 degrees. Let's look at how we animate this. In the text arc widget, I've created a periodic timer with a 25 millisecond duration. And inside that, I adjust the starting angle by a very small amount. This has to be inside a set state so that Flutter will redraw the widget with a new value. And here in the build function, we set the angle as an argument to my painter, together with the word list, which doesn't change. Word list is as you'd expect, a list of words like this. Now let's take a look at how to draw text on an arc. This part is slightly complicated. We need to do a bit of geometry. Here in the My Painter class, let's look at the draw text arc function. It has notable parameters like the center of the arc, the radius at which the text should be drawn, and the starting angle set in A here. The trick here is that we split the text into individual visible characters and measure the dimensions of each character with our measure text function. And then we compute the angle to rotate the canvas by and then draw each letter. So imagine we are not rotating anything. In that case, our drawing position is over the origin by radius distance on the Y axis, plus a small horizontal adjustment. This is the same for every character. But we cleverly rotate the canvas by the appropriate angle after the translation to the arc center. Let's get to the geometry. So imagine we draw each character around a circle. So let's say we draw our H and E in these sectors. We know how wide each character is going to be from our handy measure text function. We also know what the radius is because we set it. What we want to find out is the angle alpha. Since each character width is different, we will get a different alpha value each time. So from basic trigonometry, r times sine alpha equals w divided by two. And solving for the angle alpha, we get arc sine w by two times r. Just as before, we save the canvas, translate the origin to arc center, which is the bottom left. Then we rotate clockwise by alpha and draw the letter. Then we restore the transformation. We are ready to do this process again for the next letter. But we carefully increment the angle by 2 alpha. When drawing each letter, we center on the middle of the character. That's why A is incremented before and after the rotate. The rest is just simple background arc drawing so it looks better. Hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. Share, like and subscribe for more videos like this and let me know what you want to see in the future. Just as an experiment, I've created an ebook about drawing text on Flutter Canvas. 
It describes the process step by step with incremental code samples that you can use in your project. If you would like to support the channel, you may buy from my Gumroad page. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching. Until next time.